Item. Bell of entropy. Size 1.4 meters height, 460 kilograms weight. Usage precautions. Warning highly dangerous, usage is as massive scale super weapon. Handling precautions. Unit must be soundproofed, all personnel displaying questionable psychological behavior to be kept away. Location. Classified. Photograph of item during a 2009 operation. Usage. The item is used in wide-scale attacks requiring weapons of mass destruction. Prior to deployment, the item must be stored in a soundproof container that can be transported to site of activation. Prior to activation, all personnel are to fall back to the designated safe areas selected beforehand to ensure their safety. The bell is to be rung via remote-controlled automated clapper. A team is to be sent post-mission to review collateral damage, hunt down survivors and assess the condition of the affected area. Scheduled Operation 57 To be carried out on April 16, 2014. The Bell is to be deployed to Base 3 of the previous Chaos Insurgency, located in the Australian Midwest, along with four subdued Harbinger subjects. The Bell and the Harbingers will be transported there via chopper to the C-3 insurgency airstrip and be carried to the activation point C-1, by a truck outfitted with plating from the distortion element. Six operators wearing GG masks will escort the truck. The operation will start at 20-30 hours, or when Base 3 surveillance and defense has sufficiently decreased or relaxed, as to ensure a quick mission. All personnel should be at the safe zones at 20-25 hours, excluding the two personnel which will stay and guard the object. The Harbingers are to be released from soundproof, still cages remotely at 20-27 hours. A post-operation scout group will be dispatched as per usage procedures. Scout group will fall back upon discovery of considerable enemy retaliation. The scout group will be given tranquilizer darts to recover surviving personnel and harbinger subjects. Report The item is stored in an entropy-resistant subcell inside maximum security and containment sector of its facility. This unit is padded with soundproof materials. Entrance to the object's chamber requires beta level authorization. The object is monitored and guarded by three security personnel on a weekly rotation. The interior of the unit is to be maintained weekly due to the item's radiation. A Geiger counter constantly monitors the radiation emitted by the object. Personnel are to maintain caution when in proximity of the object, due to its mind-affecting effects. The object is a 17th century church bell made mostly of wrought iron with traces of copper and tungsten. The clapper of the item has been replaced with an automated version. When rung, the object indirectly causes anomalous phenomenon to manifest in a 10 meters to 80 meters radius. The phenomenon is theoretically influenced by the location of the bell. The bell itself constantly emits becquerels of radiation per second. Additionally, subjects who remain in close proximity with the object for a prolonged period suffer neural and psychological atrophy. Self-doubt and the breaking down of the subject's will. Affected subjects will ignore self-preservation to furnish and tend to the object. Furthermore, subjects will attempt to activate the object and will only become docile when successful. Subjects that have been affected for more than four days seemingly acquire anomalous details in the form that their vocalizations display. A slightly weaker version of the bell's properties when rung. Their vocalizations also somehow amplify the bell's anomaly. Said subjects are to be referred to as harbinger subjects. The object's anomalous properties are often destructive. Reports from deployment operations suggest the five factors affecting its properties are time, altitude, temperature, terrain and weather. Addenda, Experimentation Appendix A. As of now, there are only six, six, locations where the Bell's effects are fully catalogued. 2014 Update Location a testing chamber. Description. First evaluation of properties. 
Standard Research Unit. Effect. When struck, the research unit suffered structural collapse, causing one dollar, comma, dot, and damage in the death of a researcher. Location. Death Valley, Nevada. Description. Second test. Hot, dusty terrain. Sunny weather. Effect. When struck, all biological organisms in a 10 meters radius experienced widespread cellular atrophy, killing the research crew. Post-deployment assessment suggests the affected area was devoid of bacteria. Location. Stuttgart, Germany. Description. Fourth test. Cold, snowy, grassland. Location of known sepia base. Effect. When struck, all biological organisms in a 10 meters radius suffered temporary paralysis. All buildings in the affected area experienced a temporal anomaly that decelerates the flow of time inside by minutes. The affected area also began emitting becquerels of radiation per second. Location South Korean Military Complex, Gongwon. Description Second deployment ordered by Pyongyang. Complex located on the Tibik Mountains. Mountainous, cloudy. Effect. When struck, all human life forms in a 20 meters radius were liquefied and turned into wine. When consumed, the wine causes increased metabolism in the subject. Location. Question mark comma, description. Third deployment ordered by Alpha Commander. Snowy terrain. Mountainous. Sunny weather. Effect. When struck, the 10 meters area around the object was surrounded with a hard, glassy metal that made it inaccessible. Camera feeds inside the barrier suggest the spatial displacement of the area, apparently now located in 8405 Asbolus, a minor planet. Orbiting Saturn. After 3 hours and 26 minutes, the area returned to its original location and the barrier dissipated, allowing personnel to recover the item. Caution is to be advised when attempting similar tests. Location The Saharan Desert. Description Sixth Field Test Hot, Sandy Dunes. Effect when struck, a large supercell cloud materialized in a 10 meters radius. The cloud created 12 F2 category tornadoes and several lightning strikes. Dot precipitation from the cloud came in the form of instances of Homo arabensis that released corrosive acids from their skin. Four instances were kept for research. The rest were terminated. Location Foundation Arm Site 9122 Description First Deployment Ordered by Alpha Commander Stormy, Cold Effect When struck, all power sources, machinery and technology in a 40 meters radius experience temporary to permanent failure, triggering a massive containment breach. The site itself suffered critical structural damage and was abandoned days later. Adenda, Origination Appendix B. The object was retrieved by Item Discovery Team Gamma 6 in 1921, after a Foundation operative disguised as a mailman in the Philippine Island of did not respond to communications since December of 19. Gamma 6 was sent to the operative station. When the agent was not found, the team questioned his manager, who reported that the agent would often leave the job early to go to the local church. A brief investigation of the church found the operative dead near the item, with a note in his hand. The bell was accidentally activated and the team suffered from rapid atrophy of tissue and died. The foundation sent item recovery team Upsilon 6 to contain the item shortly after losing contact with Gamma 6, classifying it as SCP-052, Euclid. During the initial splinter of 1924, insurgency sympathizers at Site 21K breached containment for eight safe and Euclid class items. 1. 
of which was the Bell of Entropy. Drive. Gary Harding, the object's supervisor at that time, was one of the first to join the insurgency, and helped orchestrate the breach for the item. Dr. Harding was assassinated on July 15, 192, by Foundation Loyalists. Appendix C. The contents of the note found on the operative. The one got his pieces. He has divided himself for salvation, the gods. Mouth he is with me, the mouth he will speak to us at last we are one we are. Pieces. We are God. Pieces. シナリオ読み込み型創作ツール、ハチへようこそ。<音楽>